Good morning, everyone. We're starting the day with a little deer visit. You see them? Oh, a little baby deer. They like to come and graze, and that's fine with us. Um, we like to leave our kind of back a little more wild uh, so that they have shelter and they have a place to go, but we um, don't want them eating the garden. <laughs> so we're taking measures to do that. But anyway, I thought that would be fun to show you. They come by all the time. And it's really sweet to have the little companions. When I was working from home during COVID, they were like my little pets. That was before we had Marvel. And I got really attached. And uh, it's fun to see them now, like a couple generations in, um, you know, having fawns and just like continuing the cycle. So that's really sweet. We're glad that our home is a little safe haven for them as well. Okay, in other news, today we are going to come harvest a bunch of stuff. We're gonna get everything we can out of the garden. And I honestly am feeling kind of nervous. I don't know why, but yeah, I guess I'm excited. It's like the excited nervous. Um, so we're gonna get cucumbers, onions, mint, um, calendula, tomatoes, and basil. Brought my little baskets out. And I think one of the reasons why I'm feeling kind of nervous, like I said, might be because it's like I'm, then nothing's growing again. And I feel successful when like stuff is growing from the garden and now it's not gonna be there. I don't know, I, I don't know. Um, also maybe a little like anxious about how maybe it's not, like the onions aren't as big as they could be or just stuff like that. Um, so. I just have to get over it though because we're going to not be able to enjoy them if they're just in the ground and we're growing them to have food to eat. So let's just get to it. This is exactly what I was talking about with the garlic and then the onions. They're really small and you can see the ground is also pretty dry, which is an indicator that, um, yeah, I didn't water enough. Okay, well... <laughs> As expected, uh, I could see these growing. I'm, it's hard to feel, I feel torn. I feel disappointed that these didn't grow bigger, but I feel um, like guilty for feeling disappointed because look at this food that we have. I feel grateful for the experience. <laughs> so just conflicting emotions with gardening. It's a roller coaster. Um, I think though that midway through, I realized I did not water these enough, not nearly enough. And same with the carrots, and they were in the same bed together. So I'm definitely gonna try growing again. Onions are not hard to grow. Um, but clearly this was a bit of a failure, I would say, in the sense that they didn't grow that much bigger than the starts that I had purchased. But that's okay. We will, will we enjoy these? Yes. Will we eat these? Yes. Will they be better than any kind of like store-bought thing? A hundred percent. So, um, ooh, and I can smell them too. And we got onion top pesto from them. So yeah, lots of good coming from this. It's hard to feel, it's hard not to feel deflated a little bit, but it's also hard not to feel elated at the same time. The next thing that I'm going to do is just trim back some of this chamomile, or all of the chamomile. I want to just kind of have a fresh start with the garden, and I think that's one of the reasons, like, one of the ways I'm feeling. I felt a little, like, overwhelmed. I had talked about how the tomatoes are just out of control, and, and they're producing fruit, but it's hard to get to, um, and things like, you know, like the carrots were done earlier. I don't know, it's just like time management. Ta carrots were done and then the onions were coming and then the chamomile is kind of done and I've already done a second thing of the peas. And so it's kind of to me like, um, I don't know, I want it like all at once I guess, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, anyway, back to the chamomile. I'm going to trim this down because I, I guess it will reseed itself or it already has or it'll grow back if you trim it down. So we're gonna do that and okay here's what I wanted to say I'm just trying to get a fresh start as much as I can for this time of year right now it's mid-august and we still have a little bit of growing time um, really like I said earlier we can grow food all year long it's just a little slower but it's steady <laughs> um, so I want to get the beds prepped I'm gonna hopefully go to a nursery later today and just kind of see what seeds are available 
what other starts I could just like throw on the ground and have fun growing um, for the rest of this year. Uh, but in order to do that, I need to take care of what's already in my garden bed. So that's what today's project is all about, taking care of what's already here. Okay, here's what this bed is looking like empty, which is uh, a good feeling actually at this time of year. Uh, so yeah, lots of starts. Here's where the chamomile was. The carrots were here, the onions were all here. The dill that has grown twice and been eaten by slugs twice is down there. So again, nothing right there. All right, we're gonna move on to this bed now and then that bed. This bed has uh, a second row of peas growing. Nothing really in this bed. What's gonna happen is we're gonna look at stuff next to the bed. These pickling cucumbers are ready to go. There's a couple, and this is salad cucumber over here. Oh, where is it? Yeah, pretty good. Um, so I just want to kind of get things out of the garden. And if we come over here, we have the dead charred patch. And this is just so frustrating. Again, it's probably just water that I need to grow. I did replant a couple more just to see. The ground feels dry. We've got some coming up. You have something, a surprise something right there. Um, nothing, oh, there's a, a wilty snapdragon. Nothing really to get here. I'll get these flowers though. Pretty. Oh, and actually, we'll get some of the seeds. The calendula seeds are ready to take off. It looks like some of them have already dropped down. So we'll get those too. These brown ones are all dried up, so I'm just going to take my finger and poke them so that they fall off. And then we'll have some seeds for next year. Okay, they look like these wild bump- they look, kind of look like dead sow bugs as well. But they just have these like bumpy- these bumpy edges that are like hooks hooked bumpy edges yeah it's wild and that's that's what these look like and then grow into that so i always think that's super fun another thing that i forgot that i wanted to get today were the charred seeds and these also kind of look like little aliens there but they're more they, no 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 these look like burrs they're small round and they have little spiky edges around them and <clears throat> this chard this chart has died enough that I think the seeds are ready to go. I've actually never take, got let chard go to seed enough to be able to get the seeds. Um, so let's see what happens. You just pull them off, I guess. They are stuck on a little more. They feel... I might have to make sure that these dry well. They feel a little damp. But yeah. There you go. <clears throat> also didn't super plan for this, so the calendula is going to separate the seeds from that and the charred seeds until I can go get a little envelope. I took a little break, adjusted my attitude, <laughs> looked at some gardening Instagrams that I like, and I am back with a, with a refreshed set of eyes. So I'm actually really excited about what we got out of the garden, and I wanted to show you so far before we move into the greenhouse. Okay, it might not look like a lot, but it's... It's exciting nevertheless. So we have our calendula here, our calendula seeds, our um, charred seeds. I put just like a little charred leaf to remind myself. Um, this is the chamomile. I might be able to get a couple flowers off of that, but that's what I trimmed down. Two cucumbers, one pickling, one salad, but they're both, I mean, we're just going to use them kind of interchangeably. And then the onions that didn't really grow that much more, but will still be delicious. Yay! Okay, I'm just going to close up the garden because, <laughs> as we know, there are deer about and it would totally suck if they came in and <laughs> ate everything that I just picked. Um, so we'll get that on the way out, but let's go inside into the greenhouse. I forgot that I needed a little basket to get all of the stuff that I want to get. very official. Ta-da! Oh, it's looking good. Welcome to the jungle. All right, 
in here we're gonna get cherry tomatoes, regular tomatoes, and, and cucumbers. There's some big cucumbers. And also, finally, for real, all of the freaking basil that's been growing and stuff that I thought I would like be happy to leave and now I'm not happy that I left it. <laughs> so we're gonna take all of the basil out and also anything that's not growing. If it's, it's time, it's going in the basil. I mean, it's going in the pesto. <laughs> shocked at how happy I was to be taking these peppers out of the greenhouse considering how happy I was to have planted them and have ha seen them do so well but a lot needed to come out of the greenhouse in order to make room for actual produce. I realized I need needed to show you what I got from the greenhouse so we have this lovely basket of one two three cucumbers plus the giant one um, and then two more from outside. So a total of one, two, three, four, five, six cucumbers, lots of tomatoes, one, two, three, four, five beefsteak. Again, I feel like the name is a little deceiving, uh, but they're still gonna be delicious. And so here's that. I'm gonna bring it all in, have some lunch, and then come back and tackle the hoop house. Okay, I am fed, I am watered. <laughs> kind of like the plants. Uh, we are now at the hoop house and we are going to get all of the basil that's in here and you may have seen in a previous video but things are going like growing like crazy. Uh, I guess the one surprise was the tomatoes. They got blight. I've never had that happen before. You live and you learn. Um, so we took those out. Most I think Jeff took out most of the tomatoes um, but there's still tons tons and tons of peppers that are growing. Um, I learned you needed to shake those just like the tomatoes. So we're going to do that. Um, let the wind kind of come in as well today. We're going to open this up, get a nice breeze coming through. Um, but again, the, the basil grew really well, but also it's still growing well in the tower. Remember how I wasn't sure if I wanted to take all of it out and I just trimmed it and gave it a haircut? It's doing well there and it's contained and there's plenty of room for it to do its thing and there's not a lot of room in here as I'm going to show you. So that's another reason why I'm taking it out today is to give everything else, mainly the cucumbers, a little bit more room to do their thing. Oh yeah, oh it's always so fun to open this and see the surprise, the feel, the heat coming off. All right, let's get this pinned up and then we'll start doing our harvest. Bell peppers are doing well, doing their thing. Here's all the basil we're gonna get today. <laughs> Here's my hand all the way down here. This is like monster basil, super fun. I'm gonna make lots of good pesto. Here is another reason kind of why I wanna get all of this today, because these cucumbers are really going to town, doing their thing. Oh, you can see one in there, huh? Um, and we want them to have plenty of room to spread out, to grow, and that's another reason why we took out, Jeff took out these. Um, tomato plants. There's one left I see. It's looking okay, but not great. So we'll see if we get anything from there and then a few more pepper plants.
Oh my goodness, friends, look at how much basil came from just this one little tiny, tiny little patch. Marble's amazed, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, just one of these is bigger than my little dog. Huh, you wanna come sniff, Marbs? What is that? Oh, basil. So I think, you know, I was thinking I have tons of pesto. And I do love a good pesto. I don't know if I need more pesto. It might be good to practice the recipe again just to like kind of refine it to see what I want. Um, but I'm also thinking maybe I'll try drying some of these, like dehydrating, so we have fresh basil to cook with, and then maybe I'll start cooking with basil. <laughs> um, so yeah, if you have any ideas, let me know. I think I'll just give these peppers a little shake. Um, check in on the tomatoes and cukes. Oh, we need to get some cucumbers. I think there are some that are ready for us right now. So let's do that and then we'll probably just head inside. Okay, wow. We have these two for sure. And I'm gonna get those and let's just do that right now together. We'll snip, snip. One, two, and we'll bring those nice bad boys inside. Fun. I didn't film an outro, but here are some of my favorite moments from when I brought the produce inside. It felt so good to have a kitchen full of fresh food. <laughs> I'll see you next time.